now let's look at a package that gives us some advanced capability within the test benches. Okay? One of the things that you notice is that when you create a test bench, it is really nice to have report statements. Okay? It's sometimes nice to have prints of what is actually happening in your test bench instead of just looking at the waveforms. But the limit, one of the limits of the text ben, test benches in the standard package is that you only have reports. And reports only print text. Then they said, well, we'll give you an assert. And an assert is going to do a Boolean evaluation of a, of a signal. And then it'll either print it or not print it. So I gave you a little bit more. But what would be really powerful is if you were able to print the value of a variable or a signal. It's like, I just want to know what f was. Print f. Okay, Print the value f. Print what a, b, and c was. In order to do that, you actually have to use two different packages. Okay? And what they are called is text IO and standard logic text IO. It's kind of neat because this is the first time that we're going to use a package that's not in the IEEE library. Okay? So what we have to do is you have to include a library called STD. And this is not, it's it's basically a standard input output type library. And what you do is then you do use, and the package is going to be called text.io, but then you put the library as std dot, then text.io dot all. You still need the std logic text.io, okay, because this is how you take the standard logic and standard U logic and convert them to ones and zeros. And then this, this library, this package, allows you to output it to like a text file. Okay, so you need these guys in order to do some of this functionality that we're going to do. All right, so just an overview of kind of how you handle writing and reading from external files. Okay, that's what this is all about. You're going to have a test bench, and it's going to talk to the, the outside world. When you did reports before, all it talked to was the console. Okay, it was all within a simulation environment. Now I want to like drive a text file. I'm going to create an output.txt. So here's the way that it all works. It queues up what we call a line. Okay, so when you're, you're going to basically build up a string into a specific line. So you'll say, okay, I'm going to create a line variable, and I'm going to start inserting characters into it. Okay, so then I'm going to say like, okay, the output is as text. Then you might add in the value of a variable. Then you might add a comma. Then you might add this and that and another message. But that line is going to be built up as a specific line variable. Then what you do is you write that line. Okay? So if you're going to create a file, and you're going to, it's going to consist of these things called lines. And then they're just lines in a file. So that's the way that you build it up. Okay? You specifically and manually create a line by inserting things into it. And it's called a line variable. And then you write that to the line of a file. In order to do that, you have to first create a file. And so the keyword is file. And then what you do is you give it a handle. And then you have a bunch of parameters that you can pass in that tell you what type of file is going to be created or written from. Okay? We always use the type text for a file. We're just going to use raw ASCII text. Okay? Then you have a command that is either going to be open or close. Okay? And then you have a mode. So you can do a write mode where you create a file or append to a file. Or you can do a read mode, which is where you open one up and just look at the contents. And then you give it the actual name of what you're going to create. So in this situation, if I do this file and I give it a handle called f out, handle is just like a nickname for it that you use within the file, within the test bench itself. <clears throat> if I did this, I would actually create output file.txt and it would be blank. Then what I do is I create these line variables. And every time that I want to stuff a line into that file, what I do is I write it to that file handle. Okay? And in this way, we can just pop along. The magic that you have is that you can write not only text, but you can write the value of a signal. And that's all we're after. Okay? The command to do write line to the file is called write line. <laughs> OK, OK. But the trick is that when you say write line, you have to say write this line variable to this file handle. And then you get in a loop or a sequence, and you just go write, 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 write. Okay? Once again, makes no sense.
until we do it. So let's see if we can fire one of these puppies up. All right, so let's say that I am designing some VHDL and I have already created a nice little test bench for me. Uh, actually, I've created a whole new project, okay? And I called this project Package File IO. And in here, what I have is System X, which is just a three input combination of logic circuit. We've, we've used this one before. And we have System X Test Bench. And notice that I have the standard Logic 1164 in here. Life is good. And I'm doing nothing but just writing ones and zeros in here. So let's make sure that the compiler's warmed up for the day. So I compile selected. Let's warm it up, compile all. Okay, life is good. And if I was to run it, it should work. We'll just assume that's going to work. <clears throat> Here's what I want to do. I'm going to use these new packages. <clears throat> and I would like to create an output file separate from VHDL. I'm going to call this thing output underscore file dot text. And what I want to do to it is I want to write what the current input vector is that I'm sending and what the corresponding output value of the dot was that I got back. Okay? So I'm not going to look at it in a waveform. I'm just going to dump it to a file. So what I want to do is I want to prove to myself that I can create this file and I can write information to it. If I go look at my file folder of my project, you'll notice there's nothing here. There's packages, package underscore file O is the name, and all I have is my model sim project, and then I have my system X and system X test bench. Okay, all of this will take place within the test bench itself. Okay, so I'm going to come up to the top, and I need to bring in a little bit of these packages. So I need to include out of the IEEE library this whole standard logic text IO dot all. That gives me some capability in order to convert standard logic to text. How do, how do you convert you know, a zero in standard logic to a zero in text? But then I need to bring in library STD, and it's, stan it's the standard input output library is what we're doing. So this is going to be use, and then I'm going to go text io dot all. At that moment in time, I've included two new packages, and I want to make sure, and they just give me this capability to write to a file. Okay. So I'm going to come along, and I'm going to come down in here, and in my stimulus process, okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to declare my file. So here's what I'm going to do. This is where I actually put this command file. So I'm going to come along, and I'm going to type file. This is now going to create a new file, and I have to give it a handle. So I'll call it f out. Then I do a colon, and I'm going to give it the type of file I'm creating. I can create a binary file if I want to do, but I want to do a text file because I want to just open the thing up. So I create a text file. I'm going to open it, keyword open. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put its mode into write mode. And then what I'm going to do is give it the name. So I say is, and I'm going to call it output underscore file dot text. In that moment, I have now created a file, and it should be empty. Now I'm going to create a line variable. And this is going to be this variable that I use. I stuff it with stuff. Then I write it to the text file. And then if I stuff it, every time I write it, it'll clear itself out. And I can stuff stuff back into it. Okay? So I'm going to use keyword variable. And this isn't a process. This is just a variable. The only difference here is that it is going to be called current line, which is a name I just made up. It has nothing to do with anything. But the type is not bit, bit vector, anything like that. It is actually type line. Okay. So at this moment in time, I have declared two things. So let's compile those puppies. All selected. Everything seems to be working. And now here's what's going to happen. After the first time that I drive anything into my dot, I am going to now, after the wait statement, I am going to do some writing. So here's how you're going to do this. To stuff things into the line variable, you do a command called write. Okay? So now I've done write, and I have to put as arguments where I'm writing. So I'm going into the current line line variable. Okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some text. We, we either put text or we put values. So let's do, let's stuff this thing up, up with text first. So the way that you do this is I am going to type keyword string tick, and then I open and close some parentheses. Okay, and I'm going to say what? I'm going to say the in 
put ABC, and I'll go ABC is, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I am going to say, end that string with a thingamajig, okay? And then that should work. So now what I have done is all I've done is I've created a line variable and I've stuffed a little bit of text into it, okay? Let's make sure that that works. Make sure that when there's nothing wrong. Okay. String tick. Let's see. Write current line, comma, string tick. You're missing a parenthesis. You got to have both parentheses. It seems so obvious. So I do this. We got to compile as we go. Compile. Selected. Ah, nice. I have not written to the file yet. All I'm doing is building up my variable. So now, what I would like to do is let's now write the value of the input A, B, and C. So here's how I do it. I'm going to do write current line. This is the same variable. I'm building up my line. And now I'm going to write the variable. And all this is is A underscore TB. And then I'm done. Notice that since I didn't do this string thing, it is going to go get the value of A, T, B. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and copy that guy and pop it in here, boom, boom, and I'll go ahead and write B and C to it. Okay, so I go B, and I'm gonna go C. So now my line variable should have text, the input ABC is, and then ABC, the values of them, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pop the output on here, so then I'll stuff my, vari my line variable with the output F is, and now I'm going to write this guy. At this point, I've written them to the line variable, and I'm ready now to put that line variable to the file. So the command for that is called write line. And what I do is I'm going to write to my file handle f out, which is what I created up here, and what I'm going to write to it is this variable called current line. Okay? Now, if I do this, this should all be on one line. To prove that this works, I'm going to save, and I'm going to compile selected. Everything looks good. And I'm going to come down here, and let me do this on a couple of them. OK? Should you be using FTB? Yes, I should. FTB. Shouldn't you be using FTB? Yes, I should be using FTB. They can't hear you. OK, so now I'm let's do it for four of them. You're like, why don't we do it on all of them? It's like, well, we got other things to do, right? No, we don't. Uh-oh. Okay, so there's the first four, and that's probably good. We can do it for all of them. But we're all ready to go, and we will just go ahead and see if this works. So I'm gonna, it's, oh, the file's open, I'm hammering it away, and let's just see what happens when I run the simulation. So I'm going to go over to library, work. I'm going to load this puppy up. I'm going to say, load? Say, so, yeah, I'll close it. OK, I've loaded it up. And now I'm sitting here. And it's just going to flash for a while. And I'm going to run this guy for 800 nano. All right, here we go. I'm going to run it. Boom. It ran. Nothing happened. Well, let's actually go see if my output file is there and make sure that this actually worked. So I come back into this guy, and lo and behold, I have an output file. So let's double click on it and see what happened here. Oh, baby, look at this. I'm going to look at this and look at this. Here is, it's working. The input ABC is 000, 001, 010, The output is 0111. Bam! I did it. Now, the formatting, you're like, how about spacing it out in a comma? Don't worry about that. The most important thing is that I've created a file which I'm writing the values of variables. In the same manner, you can read from a text file, and you can insert those values to a variable. That way, you can read in vectors that you want to use in your test bench from a text file. You can use it in your simulation and then write the outputs to a text file. Okay? So a very powerful package right there.